Hey Willow Wildcats, this is Mrs. Dastachi, and I'm going to be reading you the story, If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. Written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. If you give a cat a cupcake, he'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. When you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Cleaning up will make him hot, so you'll give him a bathing suit and take him to the beach. He'll want to go in the water and build a sandcastle too. Then he'll look for seashells. He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his pal and try to pick it up, but it'll be too heavy. He'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill. Then he'll lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks. He'll climb as high as he can go. At the top, he'll see the lake. He'll want you to take him rowing. He'll be the captain and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and want to go for a ride. He'll want you to go for a ride too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum. He'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the dinosaurs. Then he'll visit the Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach. You'll help him gather all of his things. Then he'll want to race you. When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes. He might spill some on the floor. Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the sprinkles, he'll want a cupcake to go with them. I hope you enjoyed this story. Um, remember Wildcats, keep reading, keep writing, doing math. We miss you very much and we'll see you all soon.